All right, everyone, we got an 05 CRF 450R, and I'm gonna show you how to completely put back on the wiring harness after you've taken off for whatever reason. I'm gonna start at the top. So we got the gas lever. It's gonna run down the two are gonna run down here. They're going to come underneath that fork tube. They're gonna run down. Um, I zip tied it to this uh, radiator perch. And then I just let everything else go free. It goes right into the carburetor. Now, once that's done, and to make sure that you have everything to the perfect tight tightness, you're gonna turn the wheel all the way over, make sure it's got a little play in it. Same thing for the other side. So you got your clutch lever, your hot start, and then your uh, kill switch. So what I did is I put them all together. Um, then there's two tabs right here. There's one that holds everything and then there's another one that's bendable, um, flexible I should say. And then it runs into the ECU. Um, it bolts in behind the ECU right in there. All right, so that all runs under this side. Again, make sure you turn the wheel all the way over so you can make sure you can figure out the tightness. Um, then I zip tied them all the way down. Um, I also used the radiator perches again, there and there. Um, and then it goes into this mount and then it goes into these two, and then it goes into your clutch. All right, so then the top part, which is a little tricky, I kind of did mine the cleanest way. I, I took out a bolt mount. So you have your stator right in there, and then it kind of does this rat nest thing of all of them together. And then there's a little rubber mount on the frame that comes pre-glued to the frame. That's where it's all supposed to land, so it doesn't wear on your frame. Um, so I zip tied it to that. I ran them all together. There's a, supposed to be a little metal mount right here. Um, I took those out so the two could be exactly where I wanted to, them to, so I could have the cleanest look for the wiring. So I wired those together, and then there's another one that goes into the uh, carburetor, another, which is this one. And then this one's a little longer than the rest, so it bet double backs on itself. And there you go. And then before you're done, then it runs down into <sighs> the actual stator of the bike, which come, I just did a clean little wrap around past the carb. And then it runs through these two mounts right here. And it ties perfectly into the side of your engine. And that's it.